So you might be running into this problem on your particular iPhone, where for some reason your Bluetooth audio is just delayed. Now what does this mean? Well basically, maybe whenever you're listening to a song inside of your particular iPhone, or you're you know, using a keyboard inside of your iPhone, or whatever the case is, there can be a lot of random issues that can just happen when you're basically, you know, when your device is just you know, running into these Bluetooth problems. So the very first thing I'd recommend doing is to make sure that your Bluetooth device that you're using and your iPhone are fairly close to each other. If I'm across the street and my iPhone is across the street and my AirPods are on me, they're not gonna listen that well. You know, there's gonna be a massive delay within it. So make sure that's not the problem. Make sure they're very close to one another or fairly close. If you do that and that's still not the problem, you may want to try repairing your particular Bluetooth you know, device to your particular iPhone. So you can do this by making your way over back inside of your particular iPhone settings, just like this. You want to go inside of your Bluetooth settings, which is right here, and you want to go and basically just repair your particular you know, Bluetooth device to your iPhone. And for a lot of people, that could very well end up fixing the problem as well, and that might be all you have to do here. So just go through, repair your particular device, and you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem, if that doesn't end up fixing it, you can try restarting your phone. So you can go and hold down the power button or whatever the buttons that you normally would to restart your device. So hold down those particular buttons, go ahead and slide the power off. And once again, you just wanna see if that ends up fixing the problem for you as well. And like I said before, for some people, that's probably all you're going to have to do. And if that's still not working, you can just make your way into your settings application of your particular iPhone one more time. You then wanna go and scroll down until you see your general settings, which is right here. Click on software update and you want to see if there's a software update available and if there was all you're going to want to do is just update your phone and that could very well once again end up fixing the problem as well so that pretty much covers it up here if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly with everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video